For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number 14 of season 2 here at Napoli. We are starting with the Europa League game, one that's very important for our opponents, but not so for us. We are already guaranteed not only qualification, but top of the group stage, uh, or top of the group status, sorry, in the group stage. Liverpool and CSK Moscow, today's opponents, are uh, locked on four points together and Rangers just a single point behind on three after four games played apiece. We then face the other side of Turin. We've played Juventus this season. Now it's time to play Torino before we head into the final month before the transfer window gets underway uh, where we'll be playing the other side of Turin, the main side of Turin. And then the uh, Coppa Italia uh, round of 16 fixture will be drawn. Still waiting for the previous rounds to be uh, to be played before, of course, we get entered into that. Entering the competition at a very late stage in Italy, but, I mean, I'm not going to complain. It just means there's less games between me and a final, isn't it? We'll start this game against CSK Moscow. I will rotate the side fully and play the youth players and or rotation players because, well, I don't need to play my first team players. We can give them a rest, give play, uh, players like Wissam Ben Yedda, and uh, Piotr Zielinski a game or two, and hopefully that will raise their morale because a couple of them have been itching to get on the starting uh, lineup. So now they get their chance. They better impress. Everybody's been impressing so far this season, and fingers crossed these uh, rotation backup players can continue to keep up our good run of form. We are flying right now in all competitions. And hopefully that will continue. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further content. Uh, the Like I say, the uh, Rail Oviedo Road to Glory will be starting soon. I'm just waiting for my shirt to arrive in the post. And uh, then I can actually start filming. Uh, again, obviously there's no face cam on today's episode. Filming this the same day that I recorded yesterday's. So it's still, well actually it's gone up from 35 to 37 degrees in my office right now. So... <sighs> that's a thing, that's a thing. So uh, yeah, we're going to uh, continue on and hopefully get a decent uh, result here against CSK Moscow. Not that we need one, but it might be nice to uh, finish the season or finish the group stage unbeaten in the Europa League. Drop the video a like if you enjoy, subscribe for more. Let's go to Russia. Win that header, please. Uh, I think Patino won that, but he headed it, headed it straight to the Napoli man. Squeeze that through that gap. Ben Yedda actually wanted to start or play feature in the last game and I decided not to put him into the starting lineup. and I did intend to bring him off the bench but I, uh, I kind of forgot to against Pescara so uh, he was a little bit unhappy with me but he started here and obviously had the first chance of the game but couldn't quite find the target unfortunately. This is good football. Golovin. He's twisted well. He's got the man on the outside. He might not need to use him. Oh, that was a lucky deflection, and Tonelli, thankfully, is strong enough to be able to outmuscle the man there, otherwise we'd have been in trouble. Krejci could get this forward, but I've caused myself more issues here. That's a lovely through ball, but Shirashez is there to cut it out. But, oh, Drongovsky, what a save. That pass out wasn't meant to go to Tonelli, it was meant to go all the way out wide, but thankfully the keeper was on hand to stop them from taking advantage of my mistake. I made a couple of mistakes in the last game against Pescara, and it cost me a couple of goals. Thankfully, we scored enough to get the win anyway, but... Uh, I don't want to be giving the CPU any sort of opportunities in a game like this either. We are already qualified, of course, as we've mentioned a couple of times, but I do like to win. Oof, we nearly gave ourselves a lead there if it weren't for the save for Akin Fief. Good effort from Marco Rog. He could be underneath this as well, but he's not, unfortunately. It's Mario Fernandez. Oh, that's a great ball in. Drogowski had to come and claim that. There was a man waiting there, Vitinho, to just slot that home into what would have been an empty net, but the keeper came and met it. He did well enough. That's a nice interception from Allen. He nearly got caught there, but managed to stay away from the defender. Give it to Ben Yedda. Play it over the top looking for Pulisic. It's a lovely ball. His touch is decent, but he's bumped off it. We'll take the free kick. Can we get anything from the set piece? It's not been much on offer for either side in this game so far offensively. Rob will whip the ball in. It's a great delivery. Underneath it is a defender, unfortunately. Allen nods that back, though. Here's Damian. We'll go across here to Ben Yedda. Eventually gets it under control. Krejci could return it to him, and Ben Yedda's in a great position to do, oh, exactly that. A dream finish from the Frenchman. He begged me for a start, forgot to play him in the previous one, put him in the starting lineup for this. He's already had one effort from similar distance that went well wide, but this time picked his spot and found it beautifully. Wonderful goal from Wissam Ben Yedda. We lead by a goal to nil, just seven minutes before half-time. Milanov into Alan Zagorev. 
Get the tackling with Allen though. Referee doesn't give a foul, and rightly so. Get this out wide with Zielinski there to Creighty, and we'll look to break into the space, although his first touch wasn't the best there, actually. Good turn, though. Can we find a team? I'm actually going to go backwards before going inside. Rog will get it out there to Damian, who just committed to turn inside as I wait him to go outside. Ben Yedder, though, with a great touch and turn. Can he finish? No, he can't. I can feed with a good save. Creighty will dink it back in. Who's going to win that? It's Mario Fernandez, and they're going to clear their lines here. Half an hour to go. There's still a lot on the line here for CSKA. I didn't check and see what the Liverpool Rangers score was. If they draw, then CSKA are still very much in with a shout of going through to the knockout rounds of the Europa League. If they uh, lose here, or if we, yeah, if they lose here and uh, Liverpool win, then they'll be three points behind Liverpool with a game to play. So, and Liverpool being the team that they'll play in that final game. So it's very important that they try and match Liverpool's result here. If not. Uh, absolutely batter them when they play each, play each other in the final game of the group stage but they haven't really threatened too much in this game so far but every time I say something like that about an opposition team they tend to go up the other end and score within five minutes so we'll <laughs> watch this space Gulam, Krejci's made that run in behind the defender just wasn't aware of Krejci making the run in there and I'm just going to cut back and then cross but it's deflected off Nacho Mario Fernandez. Will, maybe, yep, yeah, via the help of a teammate, clear it for CSK Moscow. There's no point passing it around at the back like that, lads, though. You've got 20 minutes to get yourself an equaliser. I very nearly stole that off you to get myself a second and really put you up against it. Quite strength from me, love, to shrug off Alan. He's no weakling either, Alan. Kind of surprised by that, but you're giving the ball away, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I'm giving it away again. Oh, this is good football, though. Shalov through the gap to Vernblum. Vernblum! Oh, strike! As good as Ben Yedder's goal was, that was very nearly of a similar calibre. Really good finish from Vernblum. My mistake to give possession back to them. And unfortunately, with seven minutes to go, they equalise. And that could very well keep their knockout stage dreams alive. Nice little move after I've given them the ball back. Nice little move to uh, work the space. And then Vernblum, actually, with a very good finish there. Let's have a look at pretty much perfect angle for it as well. Through there, and then bang, into the far top corner. Drongowski stretched as far as he possibly could, but I don't think even David De Gea would have gotten to that. 1-1 with seven minutes to go. All right, Fernandez with the throw. Only really one option there, which was Nacho, but he found him well. Zagalev back down to the Brazilian right. Oh, wing back, that's a very dangerous cross. And Damian will head it away, but it's going to drop to Milanov. And he's been able to get it to Shenikov. Tackled by Marco Rog. Not really much technique involved there, but still, toe poked it away well. Will come on the counter attack. Oh, I was going to dummy it, but never mind. Uh, I'm just waiting, waiting, waiting. There's the arrival run. Allen up against the defender. He's passed him. And. Oh. Puts it wide. Well, there was the chance to win it with one of the last kicks of the game, if not. Uh, the very last chance of the game but unfortunately Allen can't find the target did well to create the space and get the opportunity in the first place but it wasn't enough a 1-1 draw away from home in Russia our second draw of this group stage and that leaves no not our second draw of this group stage we'd won four of four hadn't we so that's our, f our first dropped points in either the Europa League or Serie A all season. Liverpool win 1-0 against Rangers, which is crucial. It means that Rangers can no longer qualify from the group. Liverpool will be on seven points. CSK Moscow will be on five points, which means when those two face each other in the final game of the group stage, if Liverpool... Well, basically, CSK Moscow have to win and they'll go through. If Liverpool avoid defeat, then they will go through. It's all on the line for both sides in that final group stage game. But for us, we're going to take on a side that actually have been playing quite well this season. Torino up there in sixth. 1-8, lost four. No draws so far for them this season. It's, what's, what's the betting that we go and give them their first draw? And, of course, it would be our first draw as well in this competition, as well as <laughs> would come on the back of us getting our first draw in the Europa League too. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Got my strongest 11 out. Let's, go and, let's try and make it 13 wins from 13. Good header by Aspi. Down to Husay. Uh, I'd rather you were a little bit further up the pitch, to be honest. Belotti, Hamshik is the man that's in the striking role right now. Nicely around the corner there to Jorginho. Pull it back to Hamshik, who can poke it there to Belotti. This will be a great goal, and it is a great goal. Wonderful finish from Belotti. The little one-twos there, just laying it off to each other, working the move. The dream start to this game. That was superb. I was slating Belotti for being too far back, then he just arrives and smacks it in from the edge of the box. 
Wow, what a finish, what a move, what a goal. Napoli won, Torino nil. Oh, I thought I was going to outmuscle Jajic there. Oof, good save by Rulli. I was so confident with the defender that I was just going to outmuscle him and get the ball that I didn't really plan what was going to happen next. Hamsik, I think, got on that. Or was that the attacker? It was the... No, it was Hamsik. Corner for Torino again here, looking for an early equaliser. Pescara did it against me in a game yesterday. And they might still do it against me again here today, Torino. 12th minute, Taxidis with another corner. Another decent delivery. I'm not going to win that header, although Jorginho did. I was underneath it with Lucas. That will be their throw, but we should be able to defend it from there. Gini, and the Jotis on the ball again. Oh, it's a nice ball through. I don't know why he played that back there unless Val Fiori pulls out a madness, which he didn't do. And we're on the counter-attack now, and they might be in trouble. An unnecessary extra pass in there, and it really could cause them all sorts of problems because we're through here with Lucas on the far side. I'm going to try and hit it across goal because there's nobody there in support, but he can't find the far corner. 20th minute, and that's drilled past the post by our Brazilian winger. Unfortunately, oh no, it's a corner. Okay. I didn't see whether the... I didn't think the goalkeeper got anything on that. Virgil van Dijk heads that straight wide. Now it will be a goal kick. De Fiori, driving inside, gets it into Muto. I see the ball potentially onto Virgil Fiori. He's out-muscled. Oh, wow, he's done me completely. Completely. GG. Fair play. I'm going to applaud that. He did the complete opposite of what I thought he was going to do three times. <laughs> That's a great goal for Torino. A really great goal. I thought Virgil van Dijk was going to out-muscle him then. I thought he was going to pull it back. and I, commit, or I thought he was going to shoot, so committed to the tackle. Then I thought he was going to pull it back, and he didn't. He shot. And you see the keeper drifting to his left, leaving a wide gaping space at that near post. I mean, it only had one thing to do in that situation, which was to shoot for that near post, and he executed it perfectly. A great solo run to counteract our great team goal that gave us the 1-0 lead in the first place. It's 1-1 in the 34th minute. That's a who sight. Through the gap. Velotti. Can we put together another great team move? I might need to go a little bit solo here, but no. We're playing Mertens. Oh, it's a great turn. Surely yeah, this has to be 2. No! It's going to come out here somehow to Lucas. I'll loft it back into the box and Velotti. It is 2. I don't quite know how Mertens wasn't able to get that shot off before the defender got to him, but thankfully in the end it doesn't matter. Lovely little lofted ball. He almost shinned that, didn't he, Lucas? It looks as if he just used like the top of his foot, if not the bottom of his shin, to get that into the box and get the angle on it. But it's a great header by Bellotti. We have ourselves a 2-0 lead here. Again, Bellotti with a brace. How many times have we seen that so far this season? Maybe we'll have a squad report at the end of this episode to see what everybody's doing, because I'm pretty sure Bellotti's goal-scoring record is out of this world. We'll, we'll do that at the end of this game, but for now, it remains 2-1. Or it is now 2-1, it doesn't remain 2-1. Well, it might even be 2-2, but no, Johnny gets a good tackle in, although the free kick is given. Okay, it might be 2-2. Adam Jajic with the free kick. Avalar stood over it with him. Something from the training ground, maybe. Avalar into the stands. Lucas, I'll go back to Diawara. Then forward to Blotti, quickly around the corner. This is good football again. Lucas played in. Jorginho needs to just hold his run, which is exactly what he's done. That's brilliant football, but unfortunately, there was someone in the way of the shot. Literally, as I called to Jorginho to do what I wanted him to do, he did it. Unfortunately, it just didn't quite work. But they've given the ball away again, and Jorginho and Bellotti get in the way of each other. But Jorginho's done well here, and he still might get his goal. It's deflected again, but this time comfortably into the hands of the goalkeeper. Looking to make it three to put the game beyond any reasonable doubt, but still just the two goals to one. I've given that straight to Diawara. I've given that straight to Aqua. But Hamshik steals it off him. Time the pass right. Lucas is in to seal the game with three goals to one. This time, drilling it into the bottom corner rather than wide of the post. Had a similar opportunity in the first half that he put wide, but this one does find that bottom corner. Really nice finish. Hamshik stilling it off Aqua in the middle. Great way to pass. Lucas, great first touch with the outside of his left to then slot it home with the instep of his right. We have a 3 1 lead in the last minute, and we will be getting three points yet again. 13 wins from 13 games in Serie A. How much longer can this streak go on for? Let me know in the comments section down below because I have no idea. I'd love to go undefeated for the whole season, but I, what's the bit we go like we win all but one game and then lose on the final day or something stupid like that? It's 3 1 the final score here against Torino. I couldn't be happy. I, I mean. I'm saying this every single episode right now, but I could not be happy with the way things are going. Torino score their only shot on target of the game. Juventus win 3-2 against Udinese to keep the pressure up on us at the top of the table. So the gap is still only five points, which is very quickly overturnable should they uh, continue to be on the form that they're in and should we end up losing a couple of games. But that's the league table as it stands. 
Pescara down there on three points, Calgary on four, looking like they're already uh, battling it out for bottom spot. Seven and six points apiece away from safety already at this uh, quarter stage of the season. But we are top of the table with 13 wins from 13, 37 goals scored, five goals conceded. This season is a madness on all fronts. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you next